Hey, what's going on? Joe Coffey here for PremierGuitar.com. We're at the New York Amp Show 2009, checking out new amps from Good Cell Amplification. I've got Richard Good Cell with me here. Richard, how are you doing, man? Great, man. How are you? Good to Happy see you. Here. Yeah, same to you. John Caban is here, too. John, what's going on, man? Good to see you, Joe. My Good favorite you. Atmo Punk guitarist. Got to let you get a plug-in for the band here. Uh, what, what's the band? It's called Brother Hijinx, H-I-J-I-N-X.com. Brother Hijinx. It's called Atmo Dub Funk is the style. All right, now check it out. Uh, the Black Dog, you came out with that. It was very, you could almost say un-good sell because you were used to this other thing, but yeah, um, it I came out. I built a gentleman's amp, and this is for the kids, you know. Was, yeah, down mm -hmm. and dirty, and so the fit, that was a 50 watt. Now you're adding to the line. We're showing it to the world for the first time. Take me through it. The 20 watt, well, it, it sort of began life as an offshoot of the, of the, the venerable Super 17. And what we've done is we've taken the front end of the 50 watt amp and we've put it onto the back end of a Super 17, added a solid state rectifier for increased plate voltage, and then we changed the EL84s to 7189s to handle the extra juice. And presto, we have a Black Dog 20. Cool, cool. Um, I want to hear this in a bit, but before we do that, I, I gotta say, I've noticed there's a 30 too. I mean, you, you've, you've got uh, the middle child in between as well. Well, the 30 is kind of an experiment. It features the 7591A tube that uh, you'll remember from the Ampeg Jet series in the early 60s. And it's kind of an obscure tube, kind of a polite hi-fi tube. Uh, right now, we're just we're trying to decide if there's room in the product line for the 20 and the 30, but uh, they both have their own distinct personalities. But the 20, whoo-hoo! <laughs> you can clean that up in post. Well, let's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna leave that. Or, well, hey, let's, uh, let's get a taste for it here. John, why don't you fire it up? Uh, what do you want him to, to do first as far as kind of the different voicings you've got in here? Uh, you know, I... Just rip? Just may, at Mo Punk sounds yeah. good to me. Cool. So the gain is now about 2 o'clock, 2.30, and the volume's up at 10. All the tone controls are at 1 o'clock. So I'm going to just go through the, the scope of, like, what you can do as a clean sound. <laughs> That's with the volume bridge pickup on five. It starts getting a little hairy, and then I'll just dime it. But that's not all. Then you kick in the tone, the tone bypass, which gives you a. 20 to 25 dB boost. Kicking the pants, yes. Kicking the pants, which you put a mid cap on so it's a little girthier and the treble control is still active in case you're using a bright guitar so you can you can uh, darken it up if need be. So here it is. Out and then here is with. That's a 60-year-old pickup getting a little... I, I was going to say, what should we know about this guitar, man? Look at those it's P90s. It's a 57 Les Paul Special. A all real the, one. A real one. Oh, uh, all the electronics are real, um, but it's gone through the ringer. Um, it was... The neck broke off. They replaced... They fixed it in the 70s. And But, it, you know, I, would, I don't think I could have afforded it with the original finish on it, but it's um, it's gone to hell and back, and it's my main, my main guitar. Patina. John, you're a gigging musician in New York, and you were talking earlier about, uh, you know, when you have gigs or session dates or whatnot, um, because of where you live, you can't just put your, your basement, you know, in, in the trunk and go anywhere you want to go. Uh, th th these amps are a lot lighter than you'd expect. I mean, I, I think it's amazing. I do have a 66 basement that I bring to, to gigs and plug into, you know, have a double female jack and a speaker cable and plug it into a combo or a closed back cab. There's a fender, whatever is there. It would always sound great. It was always a little bit too loud and it was really heavy 
bringing the basement and my pedals and a guitar on the train. This thing, even the, the, the 50 watt is only 25 pounds. This thing weighs like it's 12 pounds. It's so light and um, it's really amazing. I think that it, it, it solves the problem of, oh, I want a Fender cleanish sounds. I want a Marshley heavy gain. So everything in between with just a volume control and it loves pedals as well. It really works well in all aspects of what I would want in a guitar amp, so. And Richard, uh, pricing and availability? Pricing on this unit, it uh, streets for $13.99 and it's shipping as we speak. Um, and uh, well, maybe a three to four week wait if it's not on the shelf right now, but they're shipping at right now as we speak. All right, Richard, what, what's in the cab here? It's worth mentioning that that is only a single tin in there and it's the new uh, Alnico Gold from Celestion. Uh, this particular one is a prototype that they generously loaned me for the show today. And we've just found out that it's going to be June or July is going to be the estimated shipping day on that. Um, that's our Celestian guy right through the curtain there. Um, that's, that's an actual Celestian representative. Um, <laughs> but yeah, a remarkable sounding speaker. I mean, unbelievable. For a 10, I mean, you know, I, I wish I could sell that cabinet right now. And if people want to find out more, what's the uh, web address? As always, it's www.goodcellamps.com. All right. I'm Joe Coffey. You're watching PremierGuitar.com. Why don't you take us out, John?